Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. Hey. If you are a follower of Jeremiah Omoto Fufenyi, please come closer. I have an apology to make. I sincerely want to apologize to Jeremiah Omoto Fufenyi. Now, they don't have their cameras beaming on me. I am filming myself and I want to post it on the internet for everybody to see, both those that love him and those that don't love him so much, that I have decided to do an apology. Unfortunately, I don't know how to get inside his room, inside his parlor. I really don't know how to break through the barriers of uh, bodyguards and, you know, gun totting policemen to get into his uh, sitting room and be filmed so that uh, the members of Mercy Land or Mercy City will understand that I am actually sorry. Now, I've seen that Jeremiah is a good man. A very good man. The case of Kasishuku has made me realize how good Jeremiah Omoto Fufeni is. Listen, before you begin to think that he has paid me money, no, he hasn't paid me. He's a generous guy too, but his generosity has not spilled over to my side, and I'm not actually dreaming about that generosity of his type, of his. I'm not hoping for that. But when you watch this video now, you will understand why I decided to come and say, Jeremiah, you are a good man. We are just, we are, we are just misunderstanding you. How, how could we have done this to this kind of a person? Now, please, you won't understand me very well if you don't listen. Watch this video till the end. There is something I will tell you that I discovered about Jeremiah, and that is why, you know, from the video you will watch, it will give you a better picture, a clearer picture of why I, I'm saying what I'm saying and uh, how I have come to decide to say to Jeremiah, Jerry, mm, you're a good man. Oh, yeah. Before now, all these things that have happened have come with us all. Even before, before I was arrested, last night I called him and said, let us grow up there. No, we are here to beg you. So, we are here to beg you. Uh, take that, boy, as your son. You will never do that again. Now that the family is complete here, so we are begging you just to help us. Let them release him. He will still come. Even when he goes back, he will still come to thank you. He will get among us at that time. Is, you know what he did was wrong because I told him, I said, what he did is completely wrong. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. I appreciate your grace. My name is Rosemary Chupi. Okay. He's my junior brother. I don't have anything to say. He's going to forgive him everything he has said to you or any insult he has given to you. Take it as if it's your son or I'm glad that he has given you insult. I want to beg you, Papa, please forgive him. Forgive me, have mercy on me. Yes, sir. Have mercy. He will not do it again. I'm going to tell you. Why are you working? No, I'm not crying. No, 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 sit down. Sit down. I'm not going to sit down. No. Bad friends. Now, let me go and If you can see me, you say like me, you hear. Nothing wrong. Still, <laughs> 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 I <laughs> said, so what keep my picking? Because of carrying my picking, push for fire. 
Je suis un the prophet seeing the pains of the aged woman accepted her plea all right uh, uh god bless everybody um mama uh, i'm your son uh, if i wish you're not supposed to call yourself the two of them yeah. it's okay uh from now now i have that uh, you are not feeling fine um really uh, they have spoken um there's no need for us to there's no need for me to now talk much about it. Uh, it has happened before. I don't believe in talking. As you have come like this to me, I am nobody before God. I am serving God. I am. I don't want anything trouble. Anything trouble. I don't want in my life. I will. I go on my own and I face my things in life. Pasi is really a brother and a son. So what is there is that anything that uh, we are now doing right now here, yeah, the best thing to do, the demons in our churches, that don't deliver them before any other thing. We deliver the demons, we pray for the people, let them succeed, not we, we are going to fight ourselves. Oh. Yes. Uh, how can we fight to ourselves? How can we get to God, get to heaven? So what is there is that uh, there is no this thing. So what is there is that... Uh, um, and the fa family has come to me. Who am I before God? Forgiveness is divine. Because I know the Bible, I read the Bible. What is that? Forgiveness is divine. I, well, I already I have forgiven. I told the, the, the twins, Mamuzi, I have forgiven them two days ago. But the thing is the government and what we need to do. I have to call them, support you people, to pray for them. For, so call um, the, 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 the government so that let them begin to now. Release him. I am forgiving Cassie. I don't have anything to say yes, what is. I'm forgiving yes, yes, yes. We are all brothers. Yes, we are yes. all Christian brothers. Mama, I have spoken. Don't, don't uh, think that I will not listen. I know how to talk to my sons and the family. That who is now, you know, carrying out this uh, issue now. Who is anger. So I am going to now try my best right now in order to call that side. So that I will call them, let them begin to release him. But I never plan anything against Cassie. Cassie is a son. So I thank God for your coming. I cannot disobey my elders, my mother, my father. So I... She even stated she was tired and hungry due to the stress her son was putting her through. The kind hearted prophet gave her 500,000 naira. And agreed to drop the case against Cassie. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. My son, my brother, Kasi. And uh, we are going to make sure that he will come out from that place yes. and where he is. Yes. So, God bless you. And Mama, this is 500,000. Oh, 
Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, welcome back. You have watched this video and if after watching this video and all that you saw in this video, you don't think Jeremiah is a good man, you need to repent. You need to ask God for a very good church heart because this is church matter that eventually found itself with the police. And now there was the need for Jeremiah to do what he did. Listen to me. Like I was saying that Jeremiah is a very good man. Yes, he's a good man. It is only a good man that would want to, you know, when there is no so much serious case against a person. And there is an ego, there is a pride that is about being broken and being shattered. If anybody listened to Ijele, that day that um, Cassie was released, you know, Cassie is a charlatan. And why me, I spoke against the arrest was that I saw it as a pure intimidation. And the manner in which that arrest was done was a show of power. So Jeremiah flexed his muzzle against Cassie. It's like using a sledgehammer to kill a, butter, a, 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 to kill a butterfly or a mosquito. Even though that Cassie Chuku prides himself as the lion killer, he came out and he thanked Suleiman, thanked Jeremiah Omoto Fufenyi, thanked Dadamasi, is it Dadamasi or Dadamasis? And uh, then Ijele and Shore. Now, but I tell you that uh, the presence of Shore and Ijele in that thing would have, I don't know them too much, but I know that Shore for a person is a human rights activist. And it's not, it's not, it's not the kind of um, a person that doesn't have mouth, you know? Uh, he is even challenging the federal government themselves. So the case itself, in which they said Cassie pleaded guilty and, you know, to one count charge out of 10, he pleaded guilty to one. And actually he did a video that would have implicated him anyway. But in all, in all, this is the, you know, the court of law. We know that here money can do anything. Money can do anything. But, you know, the dissenting voices that have been coming from here and there, I believe it got to the man. It got it got to Jeremiah, and you know it will be so so humiliating and not really honourable if he just decided if he had just released him like that. People would think that it was the pressure that made him to release Jerry, uh, Cassie. So anyhow, we look at it. Thank God for Jeremiah. At least he has a heart to think again and come back to now use a way because. The one that Cassie did on the internet that he did um, on, on Facebook, that was not, you know, powerful enough. And now, uh, Casey is Omonna. You know what is Omonna? His kindred, his village people, wasn't even enough. The presence of his village people was not enough. The old mother had to come so that it will also be on tape. You remember that Otobo's mother also came. And she was also filmed begging Apostle Johnson Suleiman. So this is this is the trend. This is how these guys flow. So it is benevolence on his part that not even only that he agreed to release Cassie, he also offered the old woman five hundred thousand, and didn't even allow her to kneel down to beg. You see, so he's a good man. So have you seen why I said he's a good man? But get this that. When people are playing God over men, that is the Lord over all who is watching. The question I have for people who have power and might and they want to use it and exercise it to the fullest. I've said Cassie is one of them. Cassie is a charlatan too. But him being a charlatan, you know, does not make it that it was right for him to be intimidated the way he was. This thing that has been done here Jeremiah has gained another son, in spiritual son. <laughs> Are you telling me that after this old woman has appeared here with the elders from his village, his village people came, Cassie wouldn't, I tell you, Cassie cannot open his mouth again to say anything against Jeremiah. Already, 
He has come out and he has told everybody that he, in fact, that that would never happen again because according to him, everything he said against Jeremiah were false. And you see, um, by the grace of God, I don't support evil. It, it, there is no need calling people names. There's no need calling people, insulting people. And that is why so many of you don't like me. Because you want me to sound very tough. You want me to, you want me to be, you know, to be very, very, uh, how do I, venomous in my language. I will call him, I'll call him, how do I put it now? So if I sound that, or I bring, I begin to talk tough, something I don't, you know, I, I, I don't have first hand, first hand experience about, first hand information about. Now, the, the truth is that Jeremiah is a good man. So he has shown Cassie that he's a good man. And in fact, Cassie is a son. He gave his mother 500,000. Cassie can get more from, from Jeremiah. Actually, according to the suggestion of the mother, if, Jeremiah, if, if Cassie had listened and is following the right path, I don't know if that was a swipe at Suleiman because, you know, if Cassie had followed this man instead of the people he was following, he would have gotten higher. His business would have, you know, <laughs> expanded the more. I beg, where are those verse? Jerry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You are a good man. You are a good man. Everybody that has offended you must be filmed like this. That was why I say Bisola did well in Ruth Matthew's case. Because if not for Bisola, this was how we would have seen Ruth Matthew being filmed and then it's saying, I'm sorry, you. And I keep maintaining what I'm, I'm saying in that matter. You may like it or dislike it, but if the truth will come out, so many of you will swallow your insults. Is baby, baby testimony missing? Yes, the baby, I believe, is, is missing. Is he alive? I believe that child is still alive. I believe that he's alive. Who is the victim? Is it Ruth or Jeremiah? No, none of these two is the victim. The victim is baby testimony. You will remember my words today, these things I've been saying in the nearest future, but I pray that you will have the grace to come and say you are sorry for insulting me. Thank you, everybody, and God bless you. Except the truth does not come out. You know, people are just, people are making noise and being sentimental about nothing. But your sentiments cannot bring out baby testimony. YouTube is not the place to find the baby testimony. We all can create contents and have views, you know, and all that. But the baby is still missing. But I stop it here because I know that there are some, some puppies that want to come after me to attack me. But back as much as you can. All I know is that these guys are charlatans. There's no, there's no two ways about it. But then we must always be on the path of the truth. But I find out that so many people don't like the truth yet. They, they pretend to be seeking for the truth. Anyway, let me know what you think about the video. I will be seeing you in the next video. Yeah, there are people I must appreciate. There are people who have sound mind. People who are reasonable. People who are not, you know, who, who don't take everything they see or hear. Swallow it, hook, line, and sinker. They have their mind to reason. So those people, I salute God in your life. God bless you. And remember that if you're expecting me to change the way I do these things, by the grace of God, I will remain resolute. Yeah, I've been pushed. I've been insulted. I've been called weak. I've been called lukewarm. I've been called, you know, um, scammer. I've been said to have, you know, taken bribe and collected money from the charlatans. All you are seeing according to your own opinion, is true. <laughs> it is also possible that somebody will say, I've collected money from J Jeremiah now. But that is good. That is good. Thank you so much and God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Till then, from me to you. Shalom.